Hello and welcome to this episode of Ready Set Drone. Today I'm going to show you how to fly the DJI Mavic using the DJI Go app on your phone without the remote control. So if you've already got a DJI Mavic Pro, you know that it comes with uh, one of these remotes right here. Very cool little remote, um, shape of a video game controller. Actually holds your phone in it so that you can use the phone as a screen down at the bottom. Uh, you can fly the Mavic without the phone just using this remote and it's got a lot of great telemetry on it. But you can also do the reverse and fly the Mavic using just your phone. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. So if you're flying with your phone, you're gonna be giving up a couple things. First of all, you're gonna be giving up a range. Um, it will only fly 50 meters high, about 160 feet before it starts to lose the Wi-Fi connection. And it will only fly about 80 meters away, which is about 260 feet in distance. So your uh, range is cut pretty significantly uh, when you're using the phone. The other thing, and I just did it a little while ago, I can tell you is it's just not nearly as, um, precise when you're trying to fly with the uh, phone as your controller. You get virtual joysticks. Um, and then finally, uh, the speed. The, the Mavic uh, is slowed down when you're flying it with a phone, which is actually a pretty good idea considering that you could lose range and that you don't have quite as much control. But you can do it. It's uh, kind of a cool little trick. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do. The first thing you'll need to do with your Mavic is turn it off and open up the little door on the side that has the uh, micro SD card in it. That little door right here has the micro SD card. It also has a switch in it, which you may or may not be able to see, that says uh, Wi-Fi or remote. Um, it is defaulted to remote, but what you want to do is switch it, uh, actually says Wi-Fi or RC, which stands for remote control. You'll want to switch it from RC over to Wi-Fi and then close this little door back up. That puts it into Wi-Fi mode. Don't forget to switch it back the next time you want to fly it with your remote control. Uh, the next thing you'll want to do is take the battery off, like so, and inside here is a little QR code, and next to that QR code is your Wi-Fi SSID, uh, plus the password for that Wi-Fi. It's a password-protected Wi-Fi. So once you have that, you um, can put the battery back on. You go into your phone's Wi-Fi settings, and find the uh, network, it'll be called Mavic something or another, enter the password and hit connect or join, and then you'll be joined to that connection. So I've already done that on my phone. Uh, by the way, the print is tiny, so if you need glasses like I do sometimes, uh, you'll wanna make sure to, actually I didn't have my glasses, so my workaround was I took a picture of it and then I zoomed in on the picture so I could see the password. Nice little trick. Um, so now that I've got it paired with my phone, uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn on the Mavic. I'm going to take it out a little further away from the house. It's sprinkling right now, not very hard, so I think it'll be okay, I'll be okay to fly. But um, just a tiny bit of moisture in the air, so I've been keeping it under here to keep it dry. But I'm going to take it out, turn it on, and then connect to it. Okay, it's reconnecting to the craft. Um, it says it's disconnected. That may be because my uh, Wi-Fi may have defaulted. Oh, my Wi-Fi is off, so I'm going to turn my Wi-Fi on. Going to join the Mavic network. As I said, I've already typed in the password, so you should be able to. Um, it should be able to connect, and now I'm going to go back to the DJI Go app and see if I can see it. I might have to actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I've got the app, and. Uh, it uh, is sitting a little ways away. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, record on the camera on the drone just for fun. Interesting, it's, uh, when I push this, it's giving me the virtual joystick, it's not recording. I'm gonna go ahead and take it up in the air. It's starting to rain just a little bit, so I wanna get this done. And now what happens when I uh, push down on here, I get these uh, virtual joysticks. Which allow me to rotate, fly forward. And now it is raining hard enough, I need to bring it in. 
boy do I ever. Uh, I'm gonna just bring it, bring it forward a little bit and hit land. So it's landing now. And now I'm gonna go grab it out of the rain. So as you can probably hear, it's uh, coming down pretty hard now, which is great because we need the rain, but unfortunate because I was hoping to knock this video out today. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up and then post it and then I'll redo it again later. But uh, the general idea is that you can fly it with your phone using an Android or an iOS phone um, and that you uh, give up some things. You give up a little bit of control you give up speed, it'll only go nine miles an hour. Um, you give up uh, range for sure. And those numbers I quoted you earlier of 262 feet or 60 meters in distance or 164 feet or 50 meters in altitude, those are with no interference. Um, I'm in a pretty populated neighborhood with power lines and Wi-Fi connections and all kinds of stuff. So I'm pretty sure that I wouldn't even get that range on it. Um, but in order to do it, you just uh, pop the battery off find the Wi-Fi password, switch the uh, switch over on the side from uh, RC to Wi-Fi. You wanna do that with the power off, of course. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, connect it via your phone, open the DJI Go app, and you can fly it. Um, the little remote uh, virtual sticks are really fairly responsive. I was kind of impressed uh, with the responsiveness. I flew it a little bit before um, it started raining earlier today just to test it out and they did okay uh, And now I've got a conspiracy of lawnmowers uh, happening And leaf blowers man every time I want to film something those guys are out so Ultimately it can be done. You can fly it with your phone. I'll uh, try to make a better video for this a little bit later uh, when the elements and the uh, lawnmowers are not working against me uh, Hope you liked it Please uh, subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone if you get a chance. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos with the Mavic. And oh, by the way, I just got a notification that my Karma will be here uh, very soon. And so I'm going to be doing some Karma videos coming up. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.